What's the mental block that makes people bend their arm? Find out. You know, a lot of people want their backswing to look like Tiger Woods. And he does have a great swing. Almost a model swing. That vertical arm, the driver parallel with the ground, pointing at the target. It's just beautiful luck. Or some want to look like Phil Mickelson. His arms almost wrap around his body. The driver wraps around his body as well and literally points at the ground. For a lot of us, neither swing is practical. Let's look at some examples of pro golfers with short swings who are very successful. Golfers who don't get their arms vertical. Golfers who don't get their clubs anywhere near parallel with the ground. The first person we're going to talk about is Dana Quigley. He had 18 wins on the PGA Tour. No majors, but did pretty well for himself. And he's had 11 wins on the Champions and Senior Tour. He's been a very successful golfer. Let's take a look at his swing. Now remember, this is his driver swing. He's got a regular setup. Let's get to the top of the back swing. Notice how low his arm is, almost parallel with the ground. This is a professional golfer, a golfer who made money on tour. Notice the arm angle. Notice the angle of the club. This is a person who obviously doesn't have a lot of flexibility. He doesn't get the club thrown over his shoulder like so many professionals. Or, like many ex instructors, expect all amateurs to do. It's a nice, clean, but really short swing. And he's been a very successful golfer for years. The first example, right off the bat, that you really don't need a really deep swing to play professional golf. Much less just to be good. It's much more important to have good form and not bend your arm than it is to get deep. Remember, what we're trying to do here is eliminate this idea in the back of your head that you have to get your driver parallel with the ground. You don't have to get your club head back there. Just get it where it needs to go. Next, let's talk about John Rahm. He won the U.S. Open in 2021 and the Masters in 2023. Another person with a compact swing. This is his driver swing. Let's go from the setup to the top of the swing. Again, you see where his arm is? You see where his club head is at? He's not far back at all. This is a very compact swing. Someone who's not overswinging and winning big. See, he doesn't get his arm back up there over his head and that shaft is nowhere near being parallel with the ground. Yet, yeah, he's a great golfer on a couple of majors. Finally, let's talk about Tony Fanu. He's won five PGA events. Now just look at that arm and shaft. That arm is nowhere near vertical. The shaft isn't parallel with the ground, yet he's got a great swing. He's a professional golfer. It's a compact swing, but a great swing. I hope we've broken that idea that you've got to get the club head back really far. You don't. There are plenty of pros that don't fit the model and yet are winning on tour. You've got to work with the flexibility you've got. Some people are really flexible and can get back there. Others aren't. Whatever it is for you, it's better to have good form than to break your form in an effort of trying to get the club head back there or swinging around. Get the idea out of your head that you've got to get the club head really far behind you or that you've got to bring that shaft parallel with the ground. Just fold your arms and get them into the best position you can, given your flexibility. That's what these pros have done, and you see what they're doing. They're winning on tour. They're professional golfers. If they can do it, 
it will certainly work for you.